today I am making my bed. I will put on all the stuff that goes on the bed. Basically, um, I've got my topper on top of a mattress cover on my mattress and then everything that goes on there, except I'm looking for my white pillowcases that are supposed to go on my pillows. Guess where I found them? In the girls' beds. They took off the pillowcases that I put on their pillows for their bed and put on my white pillowcases. <sighs> so now I have to wait until I wash those other pillowcases um, for just two pillows. Because I have pillowcases that go with four pillows, but I have six pillows here in my room for some reason. Sometimes we use them. Anyway, let's make a bed. I didn't do a very good job folding this sheet, did I? I did a partial hospital corner over there because my husband doesn't like it being all the way tucked in and that's his side.
put another button on here. Lost one. Never replaced it. Grabbed a couple extra weird pillowcases. I guess they will do. Except here's the problem. Let's see. Is it really a problem? Yeah, these ones are long. Short. See, I like my big pillow to have a long, like, squishy pillowcase, and I wanted it to be white, but I guess it will have to be. Uh, my husband doesn't care. Decisions, decisions. So these are nice long ones, but I want them to be on top because. That looks the coolest. But I like this nice big pillow to be on the bottom. I don't want it to be on the top. We're going to keep this one on the top for him. Let's see. What's next? So then, really on the bottom, we want one of these. Oh. I prefer it to be white. But the kids stole my white pillowcases. so you can't even see it. There. That looks almost perfect, right? So this is my big squishy pillow. I want it to be on the bottom. Here's my dilemma, okay? The two pillows that I keep on the bottom, those are the ones that I actually sleep with. The top one, I just keep there in case my kids are, are in here on my bed. Then I don't care if they put their nasty little heads on my pillow or there's dust on that pillow or whatever because it's on top. I'm just going to take it off and put it over here. I only really use it if I'm like propping myself up to watch TV or something. But this pillow is the pillow that I really sleep on. This is the, the one I lay my head on. And I wanted to have a big squishy pillowcase. But the big squishy pillowcase is for the top pillow because it's the sham. So I guess I'm just gonna use this one and maybe I'll change it when I get those other sheets washed. not wanting to fit. See? Oh, the problems of making my bed. <laughs> uh. That big pillowcase. Big pillow is kind of hard to hide under there. So 
So these pillow shams, I don't know if you've noticed this, but they have a split in the middle. And so you just kind of, see the split? You lay it down flat. And then you put the pillow in the side of the, like the deepest buried flap. And then you kind of just shove the other end into the other end of the pillowcase. See, this is extra. It's meant for a bigger pillow. And that's all right. There we go. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm fine with that. As long as my pillow, the one that I actually sleep with my head on, as long as that pillow doesn't feel too squished and which makes it too full inside my pillowcase, I'll be fine and I won't worry about it. I won't change it. But if it feels like that little pillowcase is just making it too puffy, that hurts my neck. So then I'll change it. Now I have the inside scoop on all of my pillow issues. <laughs> all right, well, thank you for watching me make my bed. I hope it was exciting for you. This is just, you know, normal living the leech life stuff. And I'm glad that you want to be part of it. Uh, make sure that you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, hit that little bell so that, you know, the next time I make a video of making a bed or whatever it is that we're doing, you know when you can watch that video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. You can see this pillowcase. There. That's better. I like it. <laughs>